I want my children to get better education. I want to extend my area of cultivation by buying new farmland. I want to buy two more animals. These are just a few voices from the millions in rural India. Their stories are thought-provoking. Their aspirations cannot be ignored. In the last two decades, India has seen phenomenal economic growth. But unfortunately, little of this growth has alleviated millions of rural poor. People in the hinterland of India face problems of exclusion and marginalization. A focused approach was the need of the hour. Keeping this vital need in mind, NABAD launched the Joint Liability Group program in selected states in 2006. The objective was to augment the flow of credit to small weavers, farmers, fisher folk, petty traders and individuals in non-farm activities. The JLG program aims to create an enabling environment for people to enjoy a productive and healthy life. The program focuses on the millions of landless poor who are not able to offer any security or collateral for availing bank loans for livelihood activities. The JLG program assists these people in availing loans through a group mechanism against a mutual guarantee for undertaking any economic activity in agricultural and allied sectors. Tamil Nadu is one of the pilot states for the JLG scheme. By March 31, 2014, there were 1,16,695 JLGs with loans disbursed to the tune of 1,966 crore rupees in the state. We are in Tamil Nadu's Trichulapalli district. Here, the JLG program has been a success with 100% repayments. JLGs here have been linked to the banks which have provided them adequate and timely credit and helped the members come out of the clutches of money lenders. One part of support which we do is the training, capacity building of uh, people at various level. We train the farmers in the concept of uh, joint uh, liability group. We also train the bankers, we sensitize the bankers at different levels. We provide uh, exposure visit to farmers, bankers, NGOs. Uh, you know, we take them to the field and show them how a joint liability group functions and what are the activities they could cover. As uh, we are aware that uh, this year, five lakh joint liability joint farming groups are expected to be formed in the entire country, and about uh, fifty-seven thousand joint farming groups are expected to be linked in Tamil Nadu and a target of about 5,200 joint farming groups has been set aside for Trichirapalli district and we are hopeful of uh, reaching the target with the support of banks like Indian Bank, Indian Overseas Bank, the lead bank in the district, Bank of India. The NGO play a vital role in forming the JLGs. They identify the people over there and uh, as a banker we go and visit the places. And uh, uh, we uh, we appraise them, and uh, uh, our other either our staff will go and appraise them, and uh, we'll uh, lend we'll lend them. Uh, we are uh, likely to form uh, around uh, 300, 400 jails jail in the, uh, the next before uh, uh, March 2015. Already we have formed 25 jails in the last last month. Today is a crucial day for Robert. He is here in the bank to know if his loan has been approved. He formed a joint liability group along with four others from his village to buy farm equipment that would double their produce. Repayment is 100%. We don't have any defaulters here. Actually, this uh, JLG formed uh, at the branch at the period of 2011. Up to, up to here, there is no uh, defaulters. Sometimes people gave, uh, come for a vehicle loan, some personal loan. So based on this track record, we can uh, lend to other, other kind of loans also. The JLG program has helped millions across the state, empowering communities and bettering lives. The JLG route has enabled the members to increase their income, save and repay the loan on time. 
This is Dhana Lakshmi. She sells bangles at the Thuriu town bus stand. She used to borrow money from money lenders on a daily basis. She says it used to be a daily struggle. First, we used to take loan from the local financiers and we used to find it very difficult to pay it back. Now we have taken loan from Indian Bank and find it easy to pay it back. If they give us more money, we can go out and do business as it is the festival season. Now this is helping us in making our children study and this is very helpful. This group has repaid the entire loan in time and in fact, based on their repayment record, the bank has extended them an additional loan of 20,000 each. This is financial inclusion as it should be. These poor people are normally excluded by the banking system. This is Kalinga Muriyanapatti village of Thuryur block of Trichalapalli district. Five years back, the situation in this village was worrisome. Most people had to resort to high cost borrowing from money lenders. Now, through the JLG route, people are coming together through cooperative groups and are being trained by NABARD. Post this training, these groups are helped in setting up their own dairy activities. These groups have been formed out of SSGs existing in the area. So these uh, eight groups consist of 32 dairy farmers. All these uh, women farmers have been initially provided a training through uh, NABARD's grant support under Micro Entrepreneurship Development Program of uh, uh, 10 days duration where uh, we had involved the technical experts from the Veterinary University Training College uh, in helping the farmers in uh, procuring good animals in, ca ca in cattle management, in fe feed management, in uh, growing of uh, suitable fodder crops in the area. Before the cooperative group, I had only one calf. With this group, I got the loan and got two cows. From the profit of these cows produced, I got a 20 grams gold chain. I had put my daughter in BA first year, paying 10,000 rupees fees. Since the bathroom wasn't good, I have improved the hygiene conditions of the bathroom. Since getting fodder from outside was difficult, I bought a two-wheeler. I'm also making my other kids study. I'm confident of my future growth. Building and maintaining social and economic change requires strong foundations. At the ground level, banks, NABARD, NGOs are the key players who provide this vital support. The JLG program has reinforced and strengthened their skills. We are planning to create Trichy Farm Producers Cooperative Society by joining the members of such cooperative groups who have benefited from these loans. We plan to start a chain of stores for fodder and agricultural implements for the benefit of the farmers. The profit generated from this will be shared amongst the members of the group. This is Nadavalur village and these women have formed a joint liability group which is engaged in floriculture activity. Each member had initially received a loan of rupees 10,000 from Bank of India with the support of Gramalya Microfin Foundation and they have repaid their loan in time. They get a good price for their flowers in the local market as well as in the Sri Rangam market which is a major flower market in Trichalapalli. My name is Vijaya Lakshmi and I am from Naddu Valur. We are five members in our group. The loan has helped us and got us lots of benefits and we have used the second loan for buying fertilizers and paying labor for taking out weeds as well as flower harvesting. NABAD encourages banks to take the joint liability groups as a business model, either on their own using their rural development offices or agri offices. Banks are also encouraged to engage socially committed NGOs who are well entrenched in the area. The NGOs are good at social mobilization and using that strength, the concept is being promoted well. Here, in very Chattipalyam village of Thariur block of Trichalapalli, these women are engaged in bag making. These women earn about 125 to 150 rupees on a daily basis. Earlier, these women were agricultural laborers and housewives. But after the loan, they have been able to take up income generating activities and this additional income is used for their family and for their children. 
we formed around uh, 3000 jlgs last year uh, with the financial uh, uh, support from bank of india and uh, so grant support from rabat namakar is where the hells ngo was based a training session is in progress and these women are being advised to switch from chemical based cultivation to organic cultivation since betel vine is directly consumed it is necessary that they are more organic these women gain tremendously from such sessions they have reduced expenses and increased profits the future of this uh, betel vine cultivation particularly is how they can go in for a direct marketing of this uh, the betel vine which they grow now the uh, certification for organic cultivation has to be obtained and the second thing is whether they can go in for direct marketing to outside the state where in lot of agents are involved and lot of commissions are being taken here the farmers are now interested in directly selling it and there is a lot of uh, scope for export of this betel vine also to outside the country like thailand and other southeast asian countries there the betel vine consumption is also high in the beginning we were working as daily laborers and getting even 60 to 70 rupees was a tough task after that we got first and second loan from indian bank with the help of hells and now we have grown to the level of rupees 250 to 300 a day and continue to grow now with this increased income we are able to take care of our families and without the help of male members We need about 250 to 300 rupees per day to run the family which we are getting. In India, development data shows that nearly 70% of the poorest and most marginalized are women. Meet Maya Theli. She makes thatch from coconut leaves. This is a very common activity in the area because the coconut tree is abundant. Remember my dealing sir. My name is Mayathali. I've been making thatch roofs for 15 years. Earlier I used to build thatches on a daily basis. After getting the loan, I have acquired contracts of coconut fields where I make all the thatches from the leaves of the coconut trees there. Now I have also employed few people in weaving the thatch roofs. We use this tree shell to take stripes out and use them in weaving the thatch roofs. Earlier I used to get 2500 rupees. Now I get 7500 rupees per month. Another popular activity in the area is of banana cultivation. A local variety called povan is grown in large numbers. Because of small land holdings, these women were not able to get direct credit. They formed themselves into small groups and started cultivating bananas. There are about 17 to 20 groups that have directly taken loans from banks. the uh, benefit not only flows only to the women here but for the entire family because usually in all this activity the entire family is involved i have plans to take more land on lease and do farming i got a loan for rupees 10000 and i paid 1200 as monthly installments and now i got 25000 rupees loan and i am paying 1530 rupees as emi per month i have modified my house a little bit and put my children in an english medium school eight years countless voices heard and hopes rekindled nabards jlg program has been a successful step in the right direction but there is still much to be done the program hopes to bring out many more stories out of the dark into the light we have to buy jewelry because our daughter is getting married because of the loan life is much easier i'm moving into a rcc roof house it is all happening because i got this loan